At Cornhusker Auto Center, bragging is not our style, but that doesn't mean our customers can't. Great people, easy transaction, went out of their way to help. Thank you. Amazing place to buy a vehicle. Great staff all around. I would recommend Cornhusker Auto to anyone. Time out! Welcome to another episode of Time Out with Nick, where we had two teams from Northeast Nebraska playing for a chance to return to Memorial Stadium. Not quite so this year. Earlier on Friday, the NSA announced that the higher seed will actually host the title games all but six men coming up on Friday. So not quite a return to Memorial Stadium. It's just another one of those pandemic-related changes that we've had to deal with. Let's start off with a trip over to Ord. Oakland Craig traveling there in its third straight semifinal game. The Knights, however, trailed 28 to 14 early in the third quarter, came back to tie it at 28 early in the fourth quarter, but Ord then scored 10 points in a span of just one minute, 34 seconds, 38 to 28 year final. Oakland Craig finishes the season with a 10 and two record. Here's coach Joe Anderson. They've accomplished so much the last four years and you know what they got to experience and what this whole town got to experience because of them and it's pretty special um, in the last four years. I'm not sure what their record is top of my head, but uh, um, they've been in the semifinals the last three years and they've been in the finals last year and um, they've done everything that we've asked to do. So I just told them to keep their heads up and knowing that they've accomplished so much and you know we just lost to a really good football team tonight. For the second time this season, St. Paul played against Pierce in a football game. This time it was in Pierce with that title berth up for grabs. Abram Schulting to Logan Muller though a two big touchdown catch plays. First a 70 yard touchdown to break a seven all tie and then a 29 yard score to break a 14 all tie. Tyler Race with a late interception and it was a 21 to 14 final. This will be the 10th time Pierce will play in the state finals. Let that number sink in for just a little bit. However, this will be the first time since 1989 that Pierce will host a state championship game. The time after that was when the state had already switched to playing championship games at Memorial Stadium. Here's Coach Mark Bramer after the win. Just really proud of the overall effort of the Bar guys. Um, you know, and, and sometimes you get you, know, you know, that's that's the difference with our team this year. Is we were effective in our passing game because teams are still trying to take our run game away. Final ratings will come out after the state championship game. We are in the process, though, of compiling all the postseason honor lists already for football. I mean, when there's only one team left, we might as well start working on that kind of stuff. So coaches, please get your nominations to me as soon as possible, either emailed or faxed or dropped into the office. Once again, though, I'm Nick Benish, and thanks for taking a time out with us.